Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the video. Today we are working on the uh, seven day build a bit more. Today's Wednesday, so we've now only got five days remaining before the uh, Wiper River run on Sunday. So we've got a big time crunch going on. Anyway, as you saw in that uh, little montage before, we've managed to get seat belts sorted. They're fixed length, but they will do the trick, as you can see. All sorted. Matt's just trying to sort his uh, his length right now. But anyway, it's coming along really nicely. So today's job is uh, to fit a new front axle, which is not going to be fun. Uh, we spent about three and a half hours picking one up this morning. Uh, bit of a mess, but late start to the day. Anyway, we'll get into it. Go grab this axle off the trailer and uh, start fitting it up. managed to get the new casing in it's uh, certainly a lot easier when it's not got any guts in it like this one so this one is the same as a normal Land Rover one but we've chopped the diff pan off and got a five mil plated uh, Gwyn Lewis pan in there that was in the old comp truck before I got the e-locker so had it lying around figured hey why not stick it in this thing this thing will probably be hitting some rocks anyway so better get building this up now Here's my old diff out of my other truck. We got it just sitting there. So that's going to be going in the uh, new casing. So Matt's just grabbing a couple of uh, diff bolts, diff head bolts, uh, to bolt it in. And then it's just a matter of sliding the hubs back together. And then we've got to pull the uh, current suspension system and front axle out of the uh, truck, which is not going to be so much fun. axles out on the floor uh, not quite as planned but it's out on the floor so that's what matters right so now we're going to pull it out put the radius arms onto the new axle here and um, then we'll stick that in and then slide the hubs on once the uh, short assembly of the front axle is back in the truck Alright guys, so still working in the shed, just swapping radius arms over and just on the panard rod as well. Uh, this is my sister Susanna, she's just come out to help with us. First time on the channel, so this is Susanna. Anyway, we've got lots to do, it's really hot still. And it's like 
almost 7.30, so a bit more to do. Anyway, we'll get back to it. One, two, three. Oh, oh my belly. <laughs> No Toyota made me yeah. I like how the the lawn's becoming an axle storage facility. Are you feeling strong or? So we've just chucked on some uh, spring spaces that I made up for my truck like four or five years ago. Um, they're just two inch spring spaces so that'll give us a bit more ride height at the front to uh, clear the 33s. So it's just ticked over 12 hours we've been working on this thing today, including going and picking up the axle. Um, so as you saw, Matt got a bit sidetracked. He's sick of catching his arm on that on a uh, little flangy piece of panel steel that was sticking out, so he just trimmed that off. But uh, we've got everything back in. Uh, just got to do the shocks up, and then we'll be ready to uh, slide the swivel housing and hub assembly on each side. There we go. Alrighty guys, it's like almost one o'clock now. Battery's about to die on the camera. What a day, far out. Um, plenty of hurdles to get through. Anyway, we've got the two inch lift in the front. We've got the new axle with the new 24 spine diff in and new hubs and all that. So as you can see down here, I'll get some better shots for you tomorrow, but it's got the beefed up diff pan on there. And then we'll just come around here and as you can see, if you compare it to the previous videos, sitting up nice and high. So that'll have more than enough room for the 33, especially now we've knocked it back. Today's Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday to get it done before the river run on Sunday. So we are under the pressure. Um, we've got the truck all sorted last night with the front end. Uh, we're up to one o'clock. It was a 16 hour day, absolutely shattered. As you saw, we just cleaned up. So now we're ready to tackle the back axle. So chucking a welded diff in the back, um, changing the prop shaft out at the same time, throwing in some softer springs out of the front of another one and some lift spaces to uh, return it to proper ride height. Guard chop and hopefully have room for the 33s in the back all by tonight. I haven't actually told you what the exact plan with this thing is so basically we're stripping all the weight out of it where possible as you can see and then um, we're just going to run big tyres on it off uh, my other truck. That's the whole plan with this thing. got the uh, diff out now, um, everything's all pulled apart, it's uh, ready to have the springs pulled out, we've undone all the bolts for that as well, just got to take off the top shock mounts and we'll drop it on the floor, stick the spring spaces in. I've got some shorter shock towers as well to adjust for having uh, the lift which we'll chuck in and then welded diff goes in and it all goes back together, 
hopefully a couple hours work we'll have this thing back on the uh, all fours anyway we're going to get some food quickly and get back to it okay guys just an update um matt has absolutely cranked through it he's um, managed to throw in the welded diff and the axles are back in so we're about to tackle the suspension now i was just inside doing some other stuff but uh yeah we'll uh, get everything back together So I forgot to mention we're also chucking in some extended bump stops just to stop the uh, travel of the uh, wheel going up into the guards So you can see there's the current bump stop just here and then uh, here is the new one So as you can see quite a bit longer and So hopefully that will just help with uh, keeping my expensive comp tires out of cheap panel steel which will tear them up um because we're doing that we are losing a bit of travel so I also happen to have lying around um, one of these which is a top shock mount that's shorter as you can see it's a little shorter than the uh, original one so that allows for more down travel uh, which will all work with the uh, 2 inch lift so that we're not losing any travel So we're just about to pop the springs back in. Uh, I'll just explain quickly to you why we're doing the spring change. So they're both the same height, the uh, rear spring on your left and the front spring on your right. Uh, we are putting front springs in the back though because if you look closely you can see it has a smaller wire thickness. The smaller wire thickness means it will flex better um, and with stripping everything out of that truck there's so little weight in the back if we run the rear springs we're going to have a very stiff setup so putting fronts in the back will allow us to uh, gain the suspension travel that it would originally have had from the factory okay guys well you we might notice something going on up here just had a haircut uh, while I was away, uh, I had dinner as well, and then came out, finished off uh, the truck. As you can see, it's now got wheels on. Also, had to change over the prop shaft because it used to have a rotor flex unit on it, which is a three bolt drive shaft, and the welded diff has a four. So, I managed to, uh, to trade with someone, and I've now got a four bolt prop shaft to suit. So, I just chucked that in, and we're about to uh, bring it down. done it uh, we've dropped it back down on the ground now and it's looking like everything's nice and level a uh, bit hard to tell because of the different size wheels but I can assure you it does look right hopefully in the next episode we'll pull it out so you can have a look at it because uh, obviously in the shed it's a bit hard to see anyway that's gonna do it for today I think I'm gonna end up putting both yesterday's and today's videos into one just because uh, nothing super exciting happened anyway stay tuned for tomorrow's episode so we'll be doing the snorkel bull bar um, chucking on the bigger tyres, uh, exhaust and a few other things and then uh, that's Friday, uh, no that'll be Saturday done and then Sunday's the big day so far out we've got one day left working on it, let's do this, uh, stay subscribed, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, I'll catch you in the next one, cheers guys, see ya.